Consider three machines M, N and P with IP addresses 100.10.5.2 100.10.5.5 and 100.10.5.6 respectively. The subnet mask is set to 255.255.255.252 for all the three machines. Which of the following is true? Four options are given. We need to find out which among M, N and P belong to the same subnet. So this is a question from computer networks topic regarding subnet masks. So how a router finds out a given IP address belongs to which network is that it will do the bitwise and of the given IP address with the subnet mask and whatever value it will get it will compare it with the network ID of each of the networks that the router knows and if the bitwise and of an IP address and its sub subnet mask is same as the network ID of any particular network then that IP address will be forwarded to that particular network that's why I mean that's how a router finds out a given IP address belongs to which subnet based on its network id so what here we will do is we will do the bitwise and of m n and p so these are three ip addresses belonging to three different machines so for each of the ip addresses we will do the bitwise and with the subnet mask subnet mask is same for all that is given in the question and then we'll find out the network id bitwise and of subnet mask and ip address will give the network id of that particular ip address and Based on the network ID, we will get which is the subnet. So if all three has the same network ID, that will mean all three will belong to the same subnet. And if all three has different network IDs, it will mean all three belong to three different subnets. So now we will now we'll do that bitwise and of subnet mask and IP addresses and find out the network IDs. So if you see, the first 24 bits of all the IP addresses are the same. That is 100.10.5, 100.10.5, 100.10.5. That is same for all the three. So in that part the network id won't differ only in the last eight bits that is for first one it is two second one it is five and third one it is six only in the last eight bits we need to check to see whether these belong to different subnets so for m the last eight bit is two that is zero 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 one zero similarly for n it is five that is zero 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 one zero zero and for p it is 6 that is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, as given here now subnet mask is 252 for the last eight bits now that is 1 1 1 1 1 1 0 0 we will do bitwise and of the subnet mask with each of these and find out what we are getting so if you see in the last two bits of the subnet mask is zero so this part will become zero only for all three m n and p so only in the first six bits which is one in the subnet mask we need to worry about in m and n p so m will be giving zero that is the first six bits n in the first six bits is one and p in the first six bits is one so as you can see n and p will have the same subnet m will have a different subnet compared to n and p so m's subnet sorry m's network id will be 100.10.5.0 and n's network id would be 100.10.5. what we got here one similarly p's network id would be 100.10.5.1 as we got here so as you can see n and p belong to the same subnet m is in a different subnet so the answer is option d n and p